what we have here is a sphere with a charge density of sigma and what we would like to find is the uh, electric field at this point uh, at a distance of z from the center of the sphere so uh, what we have to do is of course to find a tiny piece of electric field coming from the sphere and we'll have to uh, integrate them all together so uh, what's this tiny piece of electric field well, that's just a coulomb's law right and what's the charge? The charge is the charge density multiplied by a tiny piece of the surface. And that is sigma multiplied by a tiny piece of the area. And that will be r squared sine theta d theta d phi. Where th this is theta and this is phi. And uh, this is just simple uh, vector calculus. So I'll assume you know where this came from. And we'll have to divide this by the distance. And in this case, I'll call it L for now. And uh, what's this L? Well, we can find L by using uh, the cosine law, which is, which is uh, L square is equal to R square, which is the radius, plus Z square minus 2RZ cosine of theta. Now, this is just a cosine law. And uh, we'll substitute this into our uh, differential. And uh, since this L has a square on top, we'll have the square root. But since this is Coulomb's law, we'll have to square it again. And uh, don't forget that this is a vector. And in this case, the field always points upwards. Uh, you might ask why it doesn't point any in any other direction. And you can see that uh, in the other directions, the fields cancel each other out. And uh, if you don't believe me, you can uh, see that the x and y components of the field uh, coming from all these points, you'll have to calculate that by uh, multiplying the entire this thing by the sine and cosine of this angle. And uh, since we'll eventually integrate this uh, from 0 to 2 pi for this angle, you'll see that the sine and cosine of this angle will go to 0. So the fields pointing to the x and y direction, they're all 0. So we only have to care about the field pointing in the z direction, so, which is this direction. And uh, we can do that by finding this angle. We'll call that uh, for, we'll call that gamma for now. And now uh, what's this gamma? Now it's actually relatively easy to find. We can just construct a line here. And uh, cosine of gamma is just equal to this distance, which is this whole thing is z. This distance is r cosine of theta. So it's z minus r cosine of theta divided by this distance, L. And since the field we're looking for is pointing in this direction, we'll have to multiply this entire thing by the cosine of gamma, which is this. So I'll just multiply this into this. So we'll have to add this, z minus r cosine of theta divided by L. Now L is just this, right? So I'll uh, rub this out and add this, 3 over 2. So, uh, yeah, no, I'll, t I'll have to get rid of this as well. Yeah, so this is the differential we're looking for. And the uh, total amount of field pointing in this direction at this point is uh, what you get when you integrate this twice. From 0 to pi and 0 to 2 pi. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what these integrals correspond to later, but uh, let's just copy this down first. R squared plus z squared minus 2rz cosine of theta. Now that's z, you don't mix it up with 2. And uh, this, uh, from z this integral from 0 to pi is for d theta, and the one from 0 to 2 pi is for uh, d phi. And as you can see, if you integrate this from th for theta from 0 to pi, and for, for, uh, for phi from 0 to 2 pi, you would draw the entire sphere. So, uh, yeah, so that's the range for those two variables. Now let's just pull out the constants first, like uh, these two. And that's sigma and r squared. 
we're just pulling the, uh, these out. And uh, so you can see that all we're left with is really just a simple integral. And we can, we can solve this by using substitution. And uh, you can see that there are no uh, terms that are linked to phi in this entire thing. So we can just uh, integrate this with, with respect to phi immediately and write 2 pi. And then we can get rid of this integral. So all we're left with now is the problem of solving this integral sine theta z minus r cosine theta and uh, I don't know if you can see it yet but you can actually solve this by using substitution yeah, so once we solve this we'll essentially find the field that we're looking for so uh, I've ran out of space and I'll leave this integral to the next video